How's it going everybody? This is Fiery Fire. Welcome back and this time we have episode 3. We're gonna go find the Waygate today. Uh, Waygate, yeah. Kind of like the thing, town portal thing where you go back and forth and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. along we have Brink, okay? So we see all. this guy. Um... Ulrich, okay? I so I guess Ulrich's Brink. the bad guy. Here's Brink. He's sent for he's Syl, sent for Syl and he's looking just be still and be quiet. Brings out a, a monster right behind him. Does this uh, warp red, like fiery-ish beam towards my ally and I am the archer behind and I'm getting warped. Okay, all of a sudden, whoa, whoa, whoa there. There's like this half like demon half, I don't even know, blue thing coming at me. You see the wolves right there. I summon the zombies immediately. So I get zombies so like summon minions, they can take damage and basically act as cannon for me to fire and just nuke away. So it's imperative for me at this point just to kind of um, shoot, run, hit, like scoot and shoot, hit and run, shoot and run, and just uh, see if the monster or Brink, the Corrupted, what is his name? I don't even know what his name is. Yeah, the Brink, the Corrupted, as I bring it over, gold uh, name, so definitely a unique monster. A lot of damage, taking a while to do this. So we may be here for a while, people. We may bring some coffee, bring some Snickers. You guys may get hungry. We're going to be doing the Ring Around the Rosie for quite some time. My dog, is uh, presence, is trying to hold his own. He's obviously getting smashed up by all the ice things going around. So some of what Brink does is um, he lays these mines or in the form of these ice-like pillars. So you're going to see him do an AoE and just going to like, all these spikes are going to come from the ground. And that's an indicator for you to get out of the way or shoot and, and basically destroy. Otherwise, you're going to get caught with all this fire back and forth. And everything's just going to go to chaos. So being dangerous, <laughs> testing the water, the dogs, the zombies, everybody going back to normal. Okay, my dog is just chilling out here by me. Not sure what he's doing, so maybe he's taking a break. You know, he has been fighting for quite some time. Along, I recast the zombies again. So running around, okay, this is going to just take some time. So we'll see how it goes. Follow along, trying to click and shoot, attack at the same time. Kind of difficult. Glancing blow, so that, that the glancing blow basically means that you need to upgrade your armor or the level is too low. So in this case, I will have to resort if a lot of my physical DPS is missing. Um, gotta go with straight mana, just magic, and just try to do whatever magic spells I can. Oh, you get pounds right there. Almost out of the way. So right here, you see all those like crystals popping up. See, I'm doing a stupid thing right now, and just like staying right beside them, and when they explode, boom, right there, 76 damage. Can't be afford uh, to take damage at this point. Unnecessary damage. My dog is about to die. I resummon the zombies. I am definitely pressing 1 and 2. So my hands are 1, 2 right now for 2 for mana, 1 for health, and basically a spam of like 4 and 5. So right click, attack move, attack move. I'm trying to do what I can at this point. Still coming along, Brink. Okay, so for some of you guys, see how well you guys can fare with this, but Brink is just taking a long ass time. Taking a while. I mean, just look at him. Zombies don't really do much. They do, you know, a couple damage, 4 or 5 at a time, single digits. Ember Crystal Attack. So Brink the Corrupted shoots Ember Crystal Attacks, and they do a lot of damage. And hopefully I don't run out of mana at this point and die because unfortunately, you know, I don't want to start back from the very beginning. It took a couple levels or to get down this far. And sometimes I died and when you die you have an option to either lose experience and revive right there or lose gold and experience and all these other options. There we go, my dog fleeing presence just got decimated right there. And you see him on the top left so he slowly regenerates. Every time he hits zero, basically he flees and retreats, so your pets never die in this game, unlike WoW or other ones. So that's always a good thing. So if you can keep them alive or feed them, so I forgot to feed the dog right now, so feeding him basically gives them like an instant uh, one-up, and they're 100%, and they have added bonuses and attributes. Running around like a mad donkey with no like tail or eyes or anything, <laughs> and just trying to get out alive and just kind of get some shots off. My zombies aren't doing a good job of you know attracting Brink, so let's just see what happens. I'm just nuking right now. I see my mana going down and spamming. So any chance I get, I'm just kind of pressing 3, 4, and just shooting. And my physical DPS does um, vampire, vamp steal, so mana. I, I get mana regen for every attack, so that's kind of how I can slowly regenerate some of uh, the lost mana. He's almost dead, okay? So he's almost dead. He's running around. Almost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Almost. He's... Last like an effort. Oh, hit the ground. Okay, a couple more. I need to get out of here. Don't be too careless just because he's almost dead. I don't want to be too greedy. And one more shot, right? Oh, their identifier scroll and a bunch of other things come out. So, wow, that took a while. A lot of these, uh, I guess, unique 
a rare uh, item. So here comes, I don't know, who is this person? Brink, no. Best friend, best friend from like elementary school, back in Amazon school. Essentially, Blight is kind of the main character, and there's this bigger evil coming up about. I'm not sure what's happening, but if you stay with us as we proceed with episodes, we'll find out more along the way. It's my first time running through everything, so I have no idea what's going on, but hey, <laughs> it adds to the excitement, and at this point, I just need to sell, so I can't carry any more. Do the wise thing and go back to the town portal and be able to just sell all my useless items that don't really pertain to me. If I'm with this character, I don't need any magic or wands and I don't need any like melee, like swords or knives or axes. Anything ranged would be pretty good, guns, bows. So to sell quickly instead of dragging to one at a time, just hold shift and click each one. So I kind of just compared the stats. Basic barometer is obviously the number you see that's highlighted, but then if there's a lot of, uh, you know, I guess, attributes along with it because it's, you know, gemmed and all that, then you might want to sacrifice, you know, more DPS for more attributes. That's going to help you, you know, have a more overall balanced time playing the game and surviving everything. Loading up on town Bye -bye. portals and scrolls of identifies, you can never have enough of those just because, you know, there's always constantly new things dropping, such as these two leftover un unidentified items. Ah, they're left behind, going down, scouting around the area, making sure I didn't leave anything behind, a couple chests there, good thing, you know. Everything is helpful, it's free. If it's free, it's definitely beneficial. Unless it's poison, then you don't really need that type of stuff in you. Going out under the bridge, across the tracks, hitting a couple chests, waypoint activated, okay, so... We're at a significant point in time. Oh, Anna activated a trap too, so I gotta quickly grab everything and get out. But I got the waypoints so I can travel back and forth from town now freely without burning TPs. Similar to a lot of other games, as you know. So with Torchlight, I got the waypoint model and going up, going up. And let's see what's happening here. Just scouting around town. Oh, there's a fish market. Blue fish uh, there, so a lot of new identified stuff so gonna quickly just press 9 or actually a 9 and just scroll through them all identify the ones and sell them for some gold then go back in and continue my stuffs so you can see kind of presence are regenerating trusty dog man's best friend in this in this case a female's best friend only friend and just unfortunately for the town we gotta go back in. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Definitely could use uh, multiplayer support. Would be a lot of fun. Just being able to bounce ideas, share some quests. Oh, hello. And I go to the trusty armory or the items guy, sell everything I don't need. And the super curling permanently decreased by two. Let me just use that, so I'll right click to use it. So, got some defense. Never hurts to have to take uh, constant and reduce damage. Bye organizing bye. some of the stuff and here we go so that's it that's kind of the waypoint and we're going to be uh let's see what uh, we bring up with this quest here check it out brink is dead her master is lost and she's basically lost he wants to find answers at the overseer's library so hopefully with the next couple of episodes we're going to check out the overseer's library and until next time ff out